Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another PSVR 2 Let's Play. I'm Miles Dyer, and today we are taking a look at Train Chase by Ryan Games. I believe it is a solo developer, their first game. Um, and I always, you know, love championing indie developers, especially if it's their first time in the space. So, yeah, we're just going to jump straight into this. As you can probably tell from the social screen, this menu is quite close to me here. But it's actually in the center so clearly all the social screen is coming through the left eye uh which is something to keep in mind as i play this but i hope everyone is doing well in the chat hello to all of you i can hear you in my ears and if you're watching on replay i'll say hello to you a bit later in the comment section below um hopefully the sound level's all right but we won't really find out until the game is underway so do hit the like button Oh, I can't give the thumbs up. Uh, do hit the like button. Uh, and do uh, subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays. And also, my weekly talk show, Miles Dyer Live, which will be happening after this live stream, if you're watching live. And I am launching my new merch store, which I'm super excited about. Um, right. I'm already noticing this uh, this pipe keeps popping in and out. <laughs> from the get-go please make sure not to move around whilst bending down and be aware of your surroundings keep your play area clear okay ryan games how you doing good to have you in the chat um i hope you're doing well right so we've got a lot here a lot of links i like all this i'm curious to know what happens if i press discord it is actually going to load it in the in the uh internet browser that's cool i don't see people doing that but i think why not um right we've got click turning on at the moment so turn, uh, shoot and select, weapon select. So I did that already. Okay, nice. Got some weapons. The frame rate's really good. Uh, oh, cool. We can come get a good feel with the haptics. Okay, the haptics are great. Okay, that is. Oh, you can double hold hold it twice with two hands. Interesting. I like the haptics. Right, uh, turn. Now, as always, oh, we've got enemy shot. Drones, turrets, trucks, and rockets. Oh, we've got a, a door behind us there. So, um, options. How do I... Oh, yeah, it's that. Options. Right, vibration. Always full. Uh, skin color choice. I always think that's important in game. I think not enough games do that. Uh, weapon laser. Does that actually change anything, like um, your score or anything? I'm going to put it on. Um, actually, no, I'll turn it off. Uh, vignette. Field of view. V very small. Smooth. Okay. Let's turn it right up. Nice. Can we turn it up past 100? Yes, we can. Let's go up to 200. Oh, 180. There we go. Uh, right. Customization. Is there a save button? No, we're good. Ah, uh, nice. Lots of customizations for your different weapons. I like this a lot. Right. We're going to just jump straight in, people. So go to home. We've got story mode. We've got waves and extras. Story. 
Enter your name. Nice, proper arcade here. Always working out which is going to be the quickest way. I mean, this is very arcadey doing this. A keyboard might have been easier. Right, there we go. Here we are. This is cool. Right. Select your weapon, yep. Yeah. We're going to start with a pistol first, because why not? This is beautiful. I like the shadows. Oh, here we go. Oh, swapped hands. The haptics feel great. Let's have a look. How is the sound, people? Is it is it loud enough, or should I turn it up a bit more? Oh, wow, okay, you got to dodge. I'll keep wanting to close my fist. Oh, I can hold it down. Fully auto pistol. Nice. Is that stuff I'm shooting I'm going to be shooting? Those turrets? Yep. Okay. Oh, there was something in there. Right. Someone says it's fine. Someone says it could be a bit louder. I'm going to put up a bit louder here. There we go. I've tapped a little bit. Oh. Oh, now it paused. Whoops. Oh, you can hold oh, dual wielding. The problem is when I use dual wielding, it means my accuracy for both weapons. Yeah, guns sound good. They feel good. They feel it feels very arcadey. And obviously, look at the bullets. They're like big blue spheres. But um, yeah. And you know, and considering you know the art style, very simple, but. I think it looks cute. And there's a real sense of scale. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. Is there like health or anything? A health bar? I don't know. Pulling him down to uh, reload. It's got a platinum. I haven't even looked at the trophies yet. Well, that already goes up in my books. Oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe I don't have other weapons yet. I don't, so I have to use the pistols. I mean, you've got a real sense of speed. Switch back patches world. <laughs> I'm terrible with dual wielding. I mean, it is fun, but. Just 
means my I mean my accuracy is terrible. Unless it's dual wielding with laser sights. If I could have put on in the menu. Yeah, you do notice with the environments they're constantly like morphing as things are popping in and that. Um The end. Oh, a boss. Dead. No match for me. Don't don't mess with the train meister. Oh, here we go. S rank. Hits. Okay, so you do have accuracy. Oh, restart level. No, I don't want to do that. Almost press restart. Complete forest. There we go. Right, now... Okay, this is awesome. So you actually buy stuff. So... What I'm going to do is... Wow, that cost a... Th okay. Right, I'm gonna do my all I've got in my mind is I'm just gonna keep using the pistols while I can. And then um Oh this is awesome. But yeah, there's no no health bar, so Oh, the credits that you're getting. Can I shoot the bullets? No. <laughs> yeah, the bullet time stuff's cool. Games is just telling me that when you get hit, it goes darker and it's quite drastic, so you'll notice. And as it was being said, um, I literally took damage. And it's completely dark as demo, if that makes sense. I don't know why I'm actually. I could just turn, use the turn, but sometimes it's cool just, you know, looking behind you. <laughs> I love it when people explain to me stuff in the chat as it happens. It's like, aha, okay. It's like a real-time tutorial. Yeah, if you got any questions for the devs people, Ryan Games are in the chat. It's always wonderful. Always appreciate when devs come and hang out. And anyone watching live will know that I've not been home for 50 days because I've had renovations going on, so I'm currently playing catch up with Let's Plays. So, this game came out, I'm going to say a month ago now. It's good to be playing it at last. And at the moment, this feels good. 
I'm curious to know how it uh, how it scales up in terms of difficulty. I mean, it is definitely, but you know, how the trajectory is going to continue. Whoa. Headset rumble when you get hit. I don't think so, but also not to boast. I've only been hit once, so um, I can't. I'd have to get hit again. Oh, all them have gone. Oh, here we go. VR is going to be so much harder in the future when it's sensitive to your body. Okay, no headset rumble, I've been told. Wow, this is turning into a bullet hell. So. Like it doesn't feel like it's just a repeating environment. You're actually going on a going through a location. when they have full body tracking and it's not just a question of making sure your head doesn't get hit. You've got to make sure your whole body doesn't get hit. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. There we go. Bye-bye. submarine eh okay let's have a look here thank you very much Yes, uh, that'll do. <laughs> oh, okay. Can you shoot those bullets? I think you can. Yeah, you can. That's good to know. I thought that submarine looked like an enemy because it's dark red. So 
sorry if this shooting is a bit annoying with the sound effects because I'm just proper going ham. Oh. Okay. It'd be cool if you could upgrade the actual weapons, like make them stronger and stuff. I think that could add a really interesting dynamic to it. Do you know what I mean? Because at the moment it's just like the pistols are OP. Um, okay. Um, I guess I could buy a bit more ammo. I remember seeing a video on YouTube where someone basically calculated on Grand Theft Auto 5 how much it would weigh to carry all the weapons and all the ammo that your character can carry and it was hilarious <laughs> like just weighed like several tanks i'm gonna get caught out though like i'm doing all right with the pistols i'm gonna get to a bit where the difficulty is just gonna get to a point where i need to switch weapons Sound effects are cool. sure how to duck out the way of the bullets like how their trajectory works Told in the chat, and obviously if you're watching the live chat, you'll 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 be seeing this. But Ryan Games says, "Oh, that keep missing those boxes." But this is targeted towards new VR players, and I think this is a really cool first experience of VR players because it's just very simple. You know what you're doing. Um, it's arcadey. It looks good. Looks fun. And um, yeah, I can imagine actually. Ooh. Where are they shooting? Are they going to come back in? That's awesome. Ooh. It really shows you how slow the bullet time is, the way, how slow the... Um, Fully auto pistols are going. Because, yeah, if the weapons were upgraded, like, let's say the pistols weren't fully auto to begin with, but that was like a, a thing that an upgrade you could get for it, I think that'd be awesome. where we've come from before. Right, I'm just pausing it. Oh, is there no options in the game? Because I kind of want to turn the music up louder because the sound effects are just, you know, so loud, but you can't. Um...
That's cool, Ryan Games. Yeah, I, I am a, a VR player that is always just like, oh, this could you could do this, you could do this. I do it in all games, and I always like to have the disclaimer. That's not to take away from the appreciation I have for you developers that, you know, you spend all this time making these games. When I make suggestions, it's not like just saying, oh, it's not enough, I want more, but I just love adding ideas when I've got and uh, not gonna lie, it's cool gameplay, it feels good man. Someone said that. Just got here. Sorry, I'm late. It's all right. Okay. Oh. God, they're in the trees. This is awesome. This is really tricky. Whoa. Yeah, I feel like the yeah the music is is definitely low in this bit because I think the music's actually pretty good. Like that's what adds to the chase, you know. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Did it actually disappear? Oh, wow. Ooh. I mean, you never know. I might take it back. If the music was loud enough, I might be like, actually, now I hear it. I don't like it. But no, I mean, I heard it on the first map. I mean, I can hear it here. It sounds fine. Right, complete autumn hills. Okay. Oh, wow. See, these are quite diverse environments. Right. Do you know what? Let's, let's have some fun. There needs to be a buy 100 button. <laughs> let's actually have a look at the trophies. Honestly, the fact you've got a platinum trophy, I love you for it. So we've got to finish these. Or waves levels. So we got Snowland. So three more levels left. Okay. I hope I don't die now. Never miss any shot you shoot. Wow. Finish a story with the hardest difficulty. Ah, oh, so there's a hardcore difficulty. Okay. Shoot the cactus cowboy. Shoot in the canyon level. Wait, have we done that one? No, it's the next one. No, it's... No, it was the second one, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Defeat a thousand turrets, any game mode, defeat a hundred trucks. Okay. Well, the whole, like, never miss a shot is not going to be happening on this one. I don't know if it means in just one round, one level. Because you could just then sort of just keep diving out of the way. Right, we're going. Say hello to my little friend. Okay. Whoa.
Oh wow. Well. Whoa! Okay, much. Much harder to aim when you're using dual wheel, uh, double hands holding it. Thank you, Silver Nexus. I actually like the art style of this game. I think the resolution could be better, but like the design and stuff. I think for the arcade game that it is, I think it's cool. But look, I'm not a designer. What you guys do is magic. And there's quite a lot of popping. But again. Oh, I was wondering how much ammo I've got. Wow, I've almost used a third of it. <laughs> this is so overkill. Let's try something else. Even though it's shooting multiple ammo, each time you pull the trigger, it's using one. Wait, is that rockets coming in? Okay. I'm enjoying it so far. Um, it's a good fun arcade shooter. I, to be fair, I did go in with low expectations, not going to lie. Um, and I'm having a blast. The question for me is often there are games where you know you can have a good time, but then once, like if I die just before the last level, am I going to want to go through all this again? And that I'm not sure about yet. That's you know still early to say. But then there are other game modes as well, which I'm kind of looking forward to seeing. But you know what? It's one of those things where even if this was a game that I was like, I played it once and yeah, I had fun and wouldn't again. Considering it's like $6, I think this is actually quite a fun game to put people in that have not played VR before. Because you jump straight into it, it's clear what you've got to do. We don't have a lot of rail shooters, do we? Oh, wow. Hey, Karina. That bullet time wants it. If you die, if you die or exit the game, you can do chapter select. That's good to know. Ugh. That's really good to know. See little things I notice when you pull the trigger, your character doesn't. Right. Whoa. Whoa! Ugh. That's 
true. We have had quite. We have had a few rail shooters. I guess I'm talking about simple ones like Gazlers. Is not the kind I would put into a. Uh, I wouldn't put someone into straight away. God, how am I going to get out of the way of that? What am I? Oh, I can shoot it. Okay. These, I think, are really difficult games that you're mentioning. Okay, bullet time. Do you want to stop? Oh, it's already blown up. Bye bye. S rank, amazing. Have a look here. Well, I'm just going to keep buying ammo for this because this was an awesome weapon. Can I hold it down? No. Three hours later. <laughs> Shoot it all quicker than I can buy it. Okay. Oh, nice. I like this. Oh, this is a cool level. What's going to be on it, though? Show yourselves. Gotcha. If you move your head out of the way, the bullet time should stop. So yeah, a tutorial would be cool as well. Um, unless there is one and I missed it on the main menu. Okay, got it. I was wondering if turrets were going to be in the next one. train at the front and then we don't have to worry about these oh they're big Oh, 
oh, now the train stopped. It was like, yeah. I got a B. A B. It's because I was too slow. Right, industrial. I think this is the final one. Standing in the right place. And camera how's it doing in the chat? Oh. They get me a few times now.
come on. like an emboss. We fight in Megatrain. Is it just going to stop or is it? It is. Multiple places. Wow, that was it. Yay, fireworks. <laughs> 41, 48. You finished the game. So you could do it under 40 minutes if I hadn't been messing around with the uh, with the um, level where I was waiting to shoot in the turrets when the you meant to destroy the train. Cool. Back here we are. Right. Let's have a look now. So the difficulty, that was on easy. Wow, there's a lot. Difficulty decreases automatically if you are defeated. A higher difficulty will get you more points. But enemies have more health and you have less health. It's a hardcore. Okay, so hell. But I think for the trophy... You just need to complete it. Finish the story with the oh no, not hot with the hardest difficulty. Five. Okay, interesting. Well, that's going to be quite a challenge, but one I will definitely take the game up on. Now, customization. Okay, you get these by reaching waves, so you don't get this in the main story mode. Oh, no, you do. Some of them you do. Okay. Nice. Find the box in each vat. Okay. Right. What's extras? Oh, Neon Valley is just like a, a, a different map. Well, let's quickly check out waves. And we'll do forest. Cool. Let's give this a go. Okay, interesting. Oh, my gun wouldn't stop firing in. Okay, the fact that the waves are quick is a good sign. <laughs>
Hey, welcome. How you doing? Anyone who's just joined, hello to you. This is Train Chase, and we're currently, we've just done the story, and we're now on the way home. tunnel over there. We're going to go through it <laughs> if I just hang on there. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm guessing that's going to reset like the level, like the track we're doing. learning the trajectory of the bullets. Oh, is this going to take us to another biome? Nah, surely not. Yeah, it's going to take us to the beginning again. Okay. That makes sense. This uh, bullet time stuff, I wish you could trigger it on it yourself. Right, I'm going to go for wave 15 and, uh, and then I'll come out because I know I need that to unlock. Maybe I'm just terrible, but um, with, you know, getting my head out of the way and stuff. But um, bullet time is cool, I just feel it's, a lot of the time I'm just like, ah, how do I move my head to make it go full speed again? Even though it is healthy. Two more. Glad it wasn't 
doing it with a proper gun. Is there something left that I've missed? Show yourself. Oh no. Was there like an enemy? That makes sense about bullet time. Right. Does this mean I have to wait until we loop around to see what I missed? Was it like a turret? I don't know. Let's find out. This should um, unblock it. Go. Moment of truth. No. Oh, there is. Last one. No. Hmm. You're teasing me. Ah, oh, it's way thirteen. See if there's another one up ahead. Hmm. Well, that's happening. Let's have a look. Oh wait, you, there's actually a, how many waves are there? Because it says you can complete the wave levels. Is there twenty or? Where are you? Oh, 15, okay. Okay, this has 15, the others have more. Well, hopefully we find this straying little drone or turret. Oh, I hear something. There it is. No! I was like, don't let him go. Yay! Ooh, that was a close one. There we go, right. Love all the burning. No, don't. It's all right. It, these things happen. The amount of times I've let's played games, even like top A, you know, top triple A games, and there's a glitch during the stream, and the devs are always like, "Don't." It's like it happens. It happens. Right, 15 now. Is anything gonna spawn just before the tunnel? Don't you dare. Bring it. 
it. Come get some. Nice. Which leaves us with the extra, which we'll just go into and have a quick look, and then I will give my final thoughts. Oh, this is cool. Neon Valley Revenge, made by Daydream Productions. So we're going to have some synth wave music. Oh, sounds it. This is super cool. Even the enemies uh, look different. saying that this, uh, the backstory was a friend had created a game of this name and so they shared the assets to uh, such a point in. I love the sky. Definitely think the music, stat by standard, should be louder, so it really engulfs you. if that's to reload. I'm so used to doing that in games. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, it'd be cool if there were neon lights on the train for it, so I agree. This is super cool. sound levels in game would be cool. This is 
super cool. Enemies are, are blowing up like they're going out the matrix, they're like dropping away, which I think is kind of cool. I think that fits with it. But yeah, fireworks, I mean, I'm always up for fireworks. Yeah, I wish, part of me just wishes I could turn bullet mode off. You know, as an option, I think when I'm playing the harder modes, it's probably better in stuff like this. I just want to go with the speed of it. You know? But again. First misses. Outrageous. Whoop. All right, everybody. Well, that wraps it up for my let's play of Train Chase. Uh, once more, I want to say a massive thank you to Ryan Games for providing me with the game key and also for joining us in the chat today. Uh, Andre Aweld, if I've uh, pronounced that right. Um, listen, what are my final thoughts? Firstly, graphics. I love the arcade art style in this game. I think in that opening map with the trees and the grass blowing around and the um, sun and the shadows, I think it's really great. Resolution-wise, I think the resolution definitely could be uh, better for a game like this. And there is a lot of pop-in. I mentioned how I'm even getting pop-in with this pipe on the main menu. But um, I think it's a pleasantly like looking game um it's arcadey and i'm all for it secondly uh audio um i'm going into the options now as i talk about this audio so it's all at 100 um the music definitely needs to be louder because the gunfire is just i mean look gunfire is loud so i totally understand it but i think the music adds to the sense of chase and so i think by default the music should be a lot louder um, again, for an arcade game, I think the music works. I really, really do. Um, the the gun sounds are great. Um, it's it, this is not going for simulation and realism. 
Um, and I think the cues you get from enemies appearing and stuff is, is good as well. What's next? Haptics. Um, the haptics feel good. All the guns have a distinctive feel. Again, not going for simulation. It's arcadey. It feels great. Um, you don't get any headset rumble. I de definitely agree uh, with some of the chat that that would be a cool thing to have uh, if you are shot in the head. It's always a wonderful thing to say uh, when it comes to VR gaming. And then finally, gameplay. The question I always answer first when talking about gameplay is, did I have fun? And the answer is, yeah, I did have fun. I did have fun playing this. Uh, this was a lot more f fun than I was expecting. In terms of how much I'm going to play this game, that is yet to be seen. Um, I'm definitely going to go for the Platinum Trophy, which means playing the story mode on the hardest difficulty. I might soon realise how difficult it is and go, you know what, I, I'm, I'm not cut out for this. But we shall wait and see. Got to complete all the waves and the extras I, I've done already and I've got to find um, the boxes on the levels as well. Although I don't think that's tied to trophies, it's just the Cactus Cowboy. It's interesting looking at enemy shots, having played the main campaign and then the waves. 14 rockets, 17 trucks, 198 turrets and 550 drones. It's interesting seeing the difference between them, but that kind of makes sense. I definitely feel this is a game that would be great for showing people uh, who are new to VR. This is a game I can imagine putting people in. Obviously, the competition of VR games and you know what VR games you're going to show first. Um, and also for the price of $6, something I don't normally comment on when it comes to these Let's Plays, but you know, for $6, it's an indie game. I'm someone who's always like, if you can support indie developers and this is, and you are into wave shooters, I think this is something worth giving a try. Um, there's a lot of content here, a lot of environments. I do wish in the gameplay there were... I, I think where the gameplay is lacking is it's a question of what is going to make it feel different every time you play it. Because every time you play it, it's the same thing, right? And so having modifiers for your weapons maybe having modifiers for your enemies that's when it you know lends itself more to a roguelike game i suppose but for example the fully auto shooting of the pistols it makes them op that could be an upgrade you get so that when you're playing the story mode or doing the wave shooters every round you're looking to things and going ah oh, that's the next thing i want to get which could even include unlocking weapons as well because then you're striving for things and at the moment all you're spending it on is ammo and you can just rely on your pistols although again with the harder modes that might change so i do think that the core gameplay feels good it's fun but how much i'm going to get out of this i'm not i'm not so sure um and someone said putting turrets on your train like anti-air and stuff i mean there's a lot there but i always say this in mind that this is not to take away from what a dev has managed to do um, because this core cool gameplay is, is, is pretty solid. Um, it's a cute little arcade game, and I, I had fun playing it. So those are my thoughts. Have you played Train Chase? What were your thoughts on this? And if you do have any questions, do let me know in the comments section below after this live stream, and Ryan Games themselves might be also looking in the comments and able to answer uh, questions that you may have too. I always welcome devs to uh, get involved in the conversation there, but... That's all from me, Miles Dyer. Thank you for tuning in to this, other, this new Let's Play of a PSVR 2 title. Do hit the like button, and I do wish your hands could animate so you could give the thumbs up. And do subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of all future Let's Plays, because I'm on a mission to Let's Play every single PSVR 2 game out there. Thank you. That's it from me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you.